So Robert Kirkman said to buy DC Comics. Let's talk about it. All right, guys. So I was going through the comic book news like I like to do during the day to see if there's any cool topics to talk to you guys about. And there was. <laughs> so a while back, I did a video about this new DC Illuminati is what I'm calling it to buy out DC Comics because DC Comics or AT&T doesn't want to publish anymore. They tried to, and again, this is all hearsay. They tried to uh, get other publishers to to take over publishing rights for DC Comics and all of that was too expensive apparently and now there's new rumors that this new DC Illuminati group is set to buy DC Comics, right? The publishing wing of that company. And as I was scrolling through, I saw a big headline that said Robert Kirkman in talks to buy DC Comics. Obviously, we don't have any substantiating evidence right now on that. Uh, the website that published this, their sources were sourced to a couple of people that not super credible, um, just as right often as they are, just as right wrong. Uh, and it's not we got this covered, by the way, because I would never even bring up those folks. But it got me thinking – Robert Kirkman to buy DC Comics. Now, say there was some truth to this. Say somehow that happened. Say somehow Robert Kirkman and Jim Lee and Todd McFarlane, they all got together and bought out the rights to purchase DC Comics or, or that publishing piece of it, right? Obviously, Warner Brothers uh, or AT&T, they're never going to get rid of, never going to get rid of the Batman, right? But what would you do if it came out that Todd McFar McFarlane and Robert Kirkman and some of those folks actually did do that. How would you react? I would love it. I think that'd be really awesome. I think Robert Kirkman is borderline a genius. I think Todd McFarlane is an incredible, incredible uh, businessman. Perfect, no. But you look at what he's been able to come back from and what he started with Image. And I know it was him and a bunch of other folks, but what he's been able to do with the toys and the cards and everything he's been able to do throughout his career. Yeah, I would say he's probably kicking things off pretty or doing doing pretty well for himself. So if he brought that kind of leadership or that kind of thought process to DC Comics, I'm down. I think he has a better understanding of what fans want. Um, I think Robert Kirkman the same. I think those group of people. Oh. Could you imagine Todd McFarlane in full creative control over titles like Batman? Same thing with Robert Kirkman. I mean, oh my goodness. Um, and again, if you are not don't know who Robert Kirkman is, I mean, we're talking Invincible. Invincible is like up here for me as far as how much I love that book. It is just by far one of the best out there. Todd McFarlane, Spawn, uh, Robert Kirkman, obviously The Walking Dead. But I tell you, I would be more excited if they brought along one particular person. Now, I'm not going to do that to you guys. Uh, I don't think Life is going to be a part of that group, but that would be funny. But let me know what you guys think. I mean, you know, this, this rumor has been swirling around for quite some time. No real substantiation to it. Um, zero, actually. I mean, other than some hearsay, some people, nothing's really come out about it. So we'll see. But I think the concept that Robert Kirkman... Todd McFarlane, some of those folks taking over DC Publishing's wing. I'm 100% for it. So, but anyways, guys, let me know what you think. Just wanted to talk about that for a minute. Thought it would make a cool video uh, and create some interesting discussion down in the comments. So, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And as always, collect your way.